Hi, my name is Emily Kottenoff, and I'm a senior at the College of New Jersey studying psychology, communication disorders, and deaf studies. I'm here with ParentTube to discuss what you can do as a parent to aid in your child's speech development and if you should correct your child's speech. Children often have a variety of speech sound errors that they make when they are talking. The most important thing to remember is that errors are natural to your young child's development of speech and language, and they're a natural part of the learning process. By age six and seven, your child should have all their speech sounds developed. According to the American Speech and Language Hearing Association, or ASHA, the stages that children pass through in the development of speech and languages are very consistent. The exact age when they hit these milestones vary from child to child, and there are several factors that um, contribute to this variation, but ultimately it's um, related to the individual child. If you have a concern about your child's speech and language development, you can talk to your pediatrician and they can recommend a certified speech and language pathologist. In some cases, your child may qualify for an early intervention program. Your child's speech pathologist will ultimately tell you what you can do as a parent to aid in speech development. The therapist will give you guided activities to do with your child to get the most out of their therapy. Parents are an essential part of the child's intervention. Children learn to communicate through everyday activities and conversations with important people in their lives, which are mainly their parents. Parents have many more opportunities to interact with their child in meaningful everyday situations than a therapist does. Parents know their child best and are his or her first teacher. It is often difficult for parents to balance being your child's own speech therapist and being their parent. To achieve this balance, you should always remember you are a parent first. As a parent, you should never interrupt a child in the middle of their thought to correct their speech. The late Dr. William Fowler, author of Talking from in Infancy, feels that it is rarely advisable or necessary to correct a child's speech. A lot of errors are intrinsic to the learning process. Don't correct those things. Put everything into a positive support framework model instead. No one wants to be judged, least of all children. By interrupting or correcting a child's speech, it may embarrass them and they might not be more willing to talk and communicate and it will prevent them from developing. Instead, therapy happens when a parent and a child are together so that speech therapy at home is motivating and fun for the child. Um, and it can happen on an ongoing basis in their comfortable surroundings and involves play and daily activities. Research from a study at Vanderbilt University shows that parents can influence language development in several ways and are very effective in improving speech development. There are several techniques you can use, such as using child-directed speech, which is to talk about what the child is focused on or is interested on using simplified melodic speech. If a child is focused on the doll, talk about that doll. As you and your child are pushing through the grocery store, talk about what's around them, talk about what they're looking at at the time, and this is how they will pick up language and speak properly model using your modeled speech sounds. Um, another thing you can do is emphasize important words in a sentence, such as you're eating a banana and emphasize banana because children would might say nana because they don't have the b sound yet. You can also expand on what a child has said. So when a child says and points to a key and holds up a key, you can say, yes, that's the key for the car. And just expand on everything they're saying so they can have the basis of language. Um, a great technique for parents to remember is to repeat back the child's sentence and model the correct way to speak to the correct way to speak the sound. This is how children learn. Um, one thing you can do is set aside a designated time in a non-threatening environment, more for older kids to practice specific speech sounds. And there are activities you can do with your child that come from speech therapists. And there are also various resources on the internet at, right at your fingertips. There are worksheets you can download that have words and pictures with target sounds in the beginning of the word, the middle of the word, or the end of the word, depending on what your child needs to work on. And another great option is the use of technology because there are so many iPad apps coming out that can help with articulation. Ultimately, though, you should speak with a professional if you have concerns about your child's speech development, but these are some techniques that you can start with today. Thank you for listening. Again, my name is Emily Kotnoff from ParentTube, and make sure to check out the rest of our YouTube channel for more helpful tips.